Hey guys, it's Dr. Mackey. Uh, it's June 10th, continuing the all-out assault on your brains. Uh, this is uh, program document 8026. It's respiratory distress. Uh, this one's not up for change right now, so it's going to stay the same uh, into 2020 and 21. Uh, so this policy is pretty easy to get through pretty quick, uh, but just wanted to remind you of a couple things. First of all, the policy centers itself around identifying three kinds of distress, mild, moderate, and severe. People with mild distress, you can picture them. They're able to pretty much talk. They're probably a little hypertensive and tachycardic, but their mental status is fine. Um, and then when you get to folks who can only speak a few words, you've moved into moderate. They're also going to be tachycardic and hypertensive. They may be a little diaphoretic, but again, they're, they're, they're alert. They can communicate with you, but they're just speaking in just a few word sentences. Move into severe. Picture that person in your mind. They, they can't talk. Um, they're probably altered uh, and their blood pressure and pulse may be any, maybe all over the map and they may be cyanotic. So, um, so big sick. These people need something done very quickly for them. Uh, I want to jump into the uh, jump into the policy. Uh, one thing I want you to focus on is CPAP. So big sick. Uh, these people need CPAP fast and early. Um, and so, uh, you know, some of them may be to the point that you can't do CPAP, and you're going to have to use bag valve mass ventilation, uh, which is also kind of CPAP, but you know it's going to require more of your manipulation of the airway. But let's just assume that, um, that, that the person's mild. If you look down these, all four of these, uh, mild distress and severe distress in asthma and COPD, and mild and severe distress in CHF pulmonary edema, everything starts out with albuterol. Generally, the dose is 2.5 to 5 milligrams, and you're going to put it in however you can get it, handheld nebulizer via mask, or you can even attach it in line with CPAP. Remember that we're going to move quickly to CPAP because uh, this is what's really going to save their life. Um, so start with albuterol, move quickly to CPAP if they're in moderate or severe distress. This is in both categories. The drug differences between the two, asthma, COPD, you've got epinephrine uh, at your disposal. Uh, so you can use uh, IM epinephrine, 0.3 milligrams, uh, if they're in moderate to severe distress. Um, and you can do this at the same time of giving albuterol. The drug difference between that and CHF pulmonary edema, I think, is obvious. It's nitroglycerin. If they're if they're not sick, mild distress, you can give them sublingual. If you know you're heading to CPAP, just go ahead and uh, do nitropaste. Um, and then there's some guidance here about different types of blood pressure. Just get a gauge. You know, if they're hyper, if they're wildly hypertensive, you're going to give them a lot. Epinephrine for asthma, COPD nitroglycerin for CHF pulmonary edema, CPAP for big sick uh, on both categories. Everything starts out with albuterol. And then finally, if you get someone who's really cycling and circling the drain and they're becoming um, hypotensive, you can do push dose epinephrine. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.